Okay. Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dead in Vinland, the game where Broman rambles on about 1990s television shows, especially ones featuring pubescent females for some reason. It was on my mind. I, I, I stumbled across, you know, the classic uh, television show um, Blossom um, on my television, which is something I very rarely watch anymore anyway. Um, and there it was, and I said, oh my god, I forgot about this show. So I watched an episode, and I remember, this was about two days ago, I watched an episode of Blossom. Yeah, I did it, okay? A 30-something-year-old guy watched a television show, uh, meant for, 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 uh, schoolgirls. Deal with it. Who cares? The only reason I bring it up is because I did not realize what a, uh... One of the reasons why I, I wanted to watch it, I thought, I wonder if my kids would enjoy this, right? Because, like I said, if uh, we're getting a little bit personal, I was, um, in my younger days, had no siblings, but had a cousin whom I was quite close with. And um, so a lot of what she was into and experiencing, I was into um, and experiencing um, to a, a lesser degree. And one of the shows she liked to watch was Blossom, and I watched a little bit as a kid. And so seeing it again, I thought, oh, I wonder if my kids uh, will like it. They're female, they're a little bit young, um, not quite puberty age, so, you know, maybe in the near future, it might be something they like, might like to dabble in watching ancient, an ancient show <laughs> like Blossom. Um, did you already do your business here? You did. So I turned on Blossom, and I watched it. And, um, it was on, <laughs> and I immediately felt uncomfortable, and I thought, why in the world am I watching this? Um, but I sat through the entire episode, and I was shocked, shocked, I say, at how kind of risque it was. I did not know that it would, like, these were, like, 15 and 16-year-olds talking about sex. <laughs> Ooh, so prudish, Broman. You're so no. Not that I'm prudish. It's just I didn't would not have expected to see that on a television show at that time, and I don't remember it being such a groundbreaking uh, thing. But I, I'm wondering if it was, um, you know, uh, Young Blossom, and and I don't know if people would remember um, Joey Lawrence. I don't know whatever happened to that guy, but he was quite the thing among young ladies back in the day, and um, he was only meant to be. Uh, like 16 on that show and um, they're all talking about their their father's sex life their own sex lives you know this 16 year old Joey Lawrence is talking about you know a nymphomaniac in his school and obviously she wasn't it was like a rumor locker room rumor about this girl that he was hoping to to see and spend some quality time with but still I just the uh, it was it was shocking to me that they would uh, they would be discussing this kind of thing so openly, and um, the whole episode was like that. It didn't it wasn't just part of it. So I decided to watch another one, and um, oh no, I think the first one is the one I'm about to describe. The first one, yeah, the first one that I was talking about, the one that I was talking about originally was actually the second one that I watched. The first one that I watched that made me think, oh, I should watch another one to see if this was a one-off or if it's always like this. If we could craft some tools to help us bring back the wood we chop, it would be less tiring. Minus 25% fatigue gained while cutting wood. So I watched, the first one I watched was about the Blossom's friend wanting to lose her virginity. She's like 15, 16 years old. This is not acceptable <laughs> in my prudish old age. So I decided to watch another one. And that was the one where Joy Lawrence is talking about a nymphomaniac in his school who he's hoping to get with. And the kids are openly talking look at that accuracy and dodge that's quite nice extra crits i don't think we need accuracy i love accuracy. just too many misses far too many misses max damage minus one what is our damage oh i guess it varies by attack right so our melee is two to four so if we take this trait let's just take it because i think i'm willing to to deal with a loss in max damage if it means hitting more often um two to four it was it's still two to four Still one to eight. Class skills. So it is. It's based on your class, which would be the warrior, I guess. Did it always say that there? 
Why say it there if it's always going to be class skills? What's the point of... Wow, this is like, look at this. This is like... <laughs> that's, that's pretty serious stuff. Like, fighting for your life with your, your child in your hand. Like, that's a... Uh, that could be pretty intense if put in the, the you know, in the right uh, frame of narration. You know, uh, not the right, but not the, not the what they're doing is wrong. Just you could easily uh, make something so cartoony actually be a pretty pretty serious dramatic uh, event here. What is this burning? What? Jeez. Um, you're not gonna need to be there anymore. We'll sort all this out at the end of the day here. Let's let's get to some chit chat so I can stop talking about Blossom. Hmm, a rock in my bed? What the? The little rock was hiding a scroll with some words carefully written on it. Come meet me under the big tree. I'll wait for you. Hey, <laughs> what's that now? <laughs> this lake again. I love this little river area. Kari knew the tree the message was refer referring to very well. She walked to it on her guard. Angelico, what? Shh, please listen to me, Lady Kari. I, I have something to tell you. I don't want to die before I say it to you. So, I just wanted you to know that I, I love you. I found my purpose in life like a revelation. I want to make you smile. Even if life is hard, when I see the smile on your face, I forget everything. I feel warm inside. I feel your smile is feeding me and heals all my pains. It may be the will of God manifesting itself through you. And when you're not around, I feel like I was dead. Nothing matters to me anymore. I can't help thinking about where you are, what you're doing. How would you react to this or that? That's... That's it. I said it. Oh, I feel lighter. Love confession. Six days. Not bad. Okay. This could be like the final sort of over the hurdle. Over the hurdle moment moment here. I think by by following her softening path, it's it's I'm not as interested in that. Um sort of the effect that it's having in turning him sort of away from from being a monk I, I find that much more interesting even if it is this sort of strange naive uh sudden sudden change of heart um I, I find that kind of an interesting little little twist so we'll keep following her um her her softening side and you know she's gonna she's gonna soften up to angelico you know <laughs> uh, yeah you won't say anything idiot <laughs> excited and then Kari ran to the shelter without looking back leaving a dumbfounded Angelico in place I've had this reaction as in my own life many times dumbfounded Roman <laughs> They're very similar situations it's very 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 telling maybe that's why I'm taking to his storyline um, you know that the naive young young lad um, that that was that was that was Broman at one point. I uh, wait, did I? No, I gave everybody. Yeah, everyone has water. You know that was not that long ago that I was sixteen, fifteen, fifteen years ago. Oh God, more than that, twenty years. Oh God, that's depressing. So I guess it was long ago. Didn't cook anything. What a joker. Uh, too busy talking about blossom and God knows what. Um, to actually produce um, the things that I need to survive, so we will probably pay the price for that. Also, didn't turn that milk into cheese. What's new? Um, so let's speed through here. I think my chair is getting um, weaker. Like it's getting more. It's got more give in it, so I, I tend to be leaning further back, and I'm having a hard time finding a comfortable. Only three meat. That's acceptable having a, a difficult time finding are we at a hundred percent again on this rack upgrade oh, wow look at that upgraded drying rack is op wow that's 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 impressive um you guys can stick to the water sure 
You, what are you gonna get? You can get us some of this stuff. Boom. You can get us some of... Oh, you're injured. Why are you injured? What are you injured from hunting? Um, you can get us some of this stuff. Injury by 11 to 19. A max roll on that would be pretty nice. Yeah, this drawing rack is just OP. Um, you can come over here and help, help, help you. That's fine. You don't need to exist, like, basically at all. Um, send to shelter. Now, what do we want to do? What do we, what do we got here? What do we need in terms of vegetation? We've got 79 wheat. That seems like a lot of wheat. Um, so are we going to do like a full round of, of hemp? What are our hemp stats at here? 102. I guess we could. Couldn't hurt, right? Like they go, they grow so fast. Um, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, come on, mining buff, please. Just a straight mining buff. Valiant crafting, fatigue, gardening. Oh my god, you were our secret gardener though. Our secret constant gardener at 34, with 20% XP gains. But we've moved on from that. We've got two gardeners here. We never had a chance to upgrade her because Gudrun, may she rest in peace, filled in as our gardener um, almost as soon as we got the garden. Um, Tomo did very little, I believe. Clutch hitter. Critical and accuracy. Valiant. Some courage. Fatigue losses. Sure. I mean, what? Well, I guess we just a straight buff to her gardening. I can't see any much of this stuff coming into uh, into effect to any great extent. Nut, you old dog, you dancing dagger. Extra initiative, which he's sorely lacking in. He seems to always go last. Depression, hunger, sage, call of the sea. None of that seems relevant. Comes at the expense of crit, but he's not really our crit. He's blunt damage output right just pound them AP and 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 raw damage are what we want from him um, so this would give us two initiative not AP initiative initiative what's his initiative out at the moment zero Minus a seven from debuffs. Um, so does that mean we need to overcome seven, or will that mean like will that go up by two? Uh, it, we're not giving up any other great thing on here, right? But what we are doing is locking in a minus five percent crit. But that's fine. Our initiative is still at two, so we're only at minus five. Yeah, that's. Uh, well, I mean, it's a learning experience, right? Who cares? Um, you guys are going to get us some stone, yeah, because we still actually don't have our stone. That's fine. We got people on water, yes. It's only the morning interval. We got nobody crafting. Could somebody craft even just uh, as a, like a token gesture? There's no, there's no damage you can do. There's one game where if you put it in, is it Rim, Rim World, I think? Inexperienced people will, will will waste resources, right? I think that's how that goes. But that there's none of that really in uh, in effect here. Yeah, so we'll roll through this. This will be our third video in this sitting. This will get us through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'd like to get us over that hump. That Saturday Sunday hump is just so hard. There's just so much going on in the life of a, a young family from small town Canada. It's really, it's really something else. Um, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Well, fill these up with red exclamation marks, right? Like, let's do that. Although I guess we won't know. Any one of these could be another one of Elos or uh, Bjorn's fingers, but 
I think we just stick right here, right? Well, you know, you don't need to be here. You can go there and get us. Yeah. Ooh, son of a. Workshop. Is there anything we need to do in here? We're going to burn through some iron and some of that. That's no good. Cooking pot. Rain protection. Cooking crap and standard meals. Comes with, with a stone loss, but... I think we have got four days still for crying out loud. Someone needs to cook though, that's for sure. Um, Moira can come off of here. More water, we still need a ton of water. Um, we'll cook. That's all we got? That's fine, we've got um, so much non-perishable. Or infinity food as I like to call it. Not gonna forget the cheese. The cheese stands alone. What are you? What's your problem? Oh, you don't have a you don't have a purpose in life, Eirek. That's so horrible. Yep, bang out that stone again, you two. You make a hell of a team. Yeah, keep exploring. I, I dare you to give me an encounter at this point. I triple dog dare you. What are we talking about? After I got off that whole blossom tangent. Don't even remember. That's how off the cuff I am right now. Just just loving life. My chair. I think I talked a little bit about my chair now. I think it's getting weaker on me. Uh, it seems to be have more give to it. You know, I'm having trouble I'm having trouble positioning myself at the mic. I, I had struck this very nice balance at one point. Uh, you know what? I still gotta do Stardew. I don't have Stardew to carry me anywhere near the hump. Let alone oh my god, let alone to the hump. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm really having trouble positioning myself at the microphone. I can't I get comfortable. My back starts to hurt. What's the time here? 17 minutes. We'll, we'll quickly read through some dra some drama and position everybody. Hopefully, there's not a big long narr narration here. Um, some day effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's gonna live, so that's fine. Nothing to be concerned about here. Oh, my beer. It's sitting here mocking me. Hmm. So good. One lonely fish can go to nut. You guys can have some big old meat meals. Um, again, I've done this incorrectly and wasted all my... Yep. Okay, that's fine. You, you, and you. Everybody eats. Everybody gets fed up. I'm fed up all around but not really fast forward this <laughs> yeah positioning has just been so strange I know what you're gonna say clean your desk and you won't have a, it's probably right two things need to happen I need to clean my desk and I need to get myself one of those uh, one of those manipulatable arms with a microphone on it this the microphone I have I don't think can go into one of those so I'm either gonna have to make my own um, again small town Canada I own my own little estate here. I have a garage. I own tools. I own property. I'm, a, I'm technically a millennial, but also n not at all a millennial. Um, I own quite a bit of things, actually, um, which is, you know, actually something I, I take for granted once in a while, and I'll admit that when uh, when forced to recognize it. Um, so yeah, I can make myself my own little sort of half-assed. Uh... Can I water you? Yeah, I should water you, shouldn't I? That's fine. Uh, I could make myself my own little half-assed uh, microphone arm, but um, I don't think it would be quite the same. Water is really becoming an issue. Can I work on something that gets me more water per interval? I don't believe that was one of the options. Maximum stock? Maximum stock. Boiling water consumes less fire. That's increased resources gained by two to three when fetching water. Why am I not researching this? There we go. Someone else should be on that with me. And it's going to be you because you. And we want this quickly. We want this now. Um, Angelico. 
We'll come back to here. Ropes aren't so much of an issue. And then we're going to send Tomo, who was looking a little rough around the old sickness edges here, to here, and then you'll be healed by Moira or Solveig. Solveig is going to have to do, because I don't want to uh, take her off the water. So that's how we're going to leave it, and um, yeah, my, my chair and microphone and positioning woes and my enthralling uh, Blossom conversations will have to wait um, for another day back here in Vinland um, when we, we push on and uh, clear out the rest of this map. Um, yeah, sorry about the last episode, that's just the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Um, I, I'm really surprised. As, I guess it's not bothering me as much as the other issue did because there's nothing I can do about this one. There's no option. The other one, there was, I had the raw footage and it's like, do you want to record a voice over this? Is that really what you should be doing? Don't really want to put it up without one, but don't really want to record over. And it's kind of when I'm caught in that halfway state, I, I get really just fed up. But in this case, there's nothing I can do. The video's gone. It doesn't exist. I can't, I can't redo it. So that's just the way it is. Until then, thanks very much. See you soon.